Like any good poem or story, the creative writing program at UNCG owes its existence to a mix of circumstance, inspiration, and dedication. In 1964, the North Carolina State Legislature voted to turn the Women's College into the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, which meant this brand new university had to start offering graduate programs. At the time, only two universities had creative writing programs, Stanford University and the University of Iowa's Master of Fine Arts program. But creative writing degrees in general were considered to be vaguely suspicious and perhaps a downright sham, both by the academy and by many writers. Fred Chappell had just joined UNCG's English department when he, along with novelist Peter Taylor and poet Robert Watson, were charged with designing what would become the MFA writing program. We had plenty of misgivings, to be honest. We didn't want to pit writers against each other in a heated, competitive environment. But we also didn't want some kind of magic wand program where we handed out graduate degrees for signs of poetic sensitivity. Chapel, Taylor, and Watson set about designing a program that would allow students to learn the tools and craft of creative composition and give them ample opportunity both to compose and to have their work critiqued in a generous and respectful workshop environment. Our aim was to build a community of writers. We wanted to give students not just time to write, but the chance to have the kinds of conversations that only happen when you're around other writers. The emphasis on community is one of the reasons the program has been so successful. Workshops and academic classes provide a core of the experience. But students and graduates will tell you that the time outside of class spent working on their own and interacting with other students and with faculty matters just as much. The writers who come to UNCG each year as part of the Distinguished Writers series add another layer to that experience. Many students come here having never met a working published writer. Here besides the faculty, they not only get to meet a number of writers in poetry and fiction each year, but they also get to spend an afternoon with them, workshop, and then later on, hear them read their newest work and enjoy an evening of socializing with them after that. The inspiration for this kind of environment started with Chapel, Taylor, and Watson, but it has been carried on by the current faculty, Michael Parker, Craig Nova, Stuart DeShell, David Roderick, Holly Goddard-Jones, and Rebecca Black, and of course, by the students themselves. In fact, it was the first graduating class of the new MFA writing program that launched the Greensboro Review to showcase their work. In time, the review was open to other writers, and now the journal receives thousands of submissions from all over the world for the two issues published annually. Students read submissions and serve as editors under faculty direction. Stories and poems published in the review have been anthologized in Best American, O. Henry, and New Stories from the South and their authors have gone on to win numerous awards and recognition for their work. Perhaps it was pure good luck that North Carolina was revamping its university system at the same time that a small group of visionary faculty and talented, eager students were ready to take a chance on something new. But their legacy, a nurturing, learning environment for generations of writers to come, has been no accident.